got the hit stash, got a bracelet for impact. Real tricky, quick to flip a pretty penny to a thick stack, quick stack. Think fast and I talk real. I give a f about how they feel. Me and Zay just dropped a propane and it sounded like massive pill. For my dog, I'ma ride to the wheels kill. Got his hand on the hammer, so keep it legit. I've been in there with the Hello and welcome back to the channel. We're up in the Lake District, currently in the north of England. I'm here for a few days training and today is the first day of 2022 I've left the house without arm warmers. So there's absolutely no, no complaints on that front today. The weather is incredible. But this is the terrain of today's ride. As you can see, lots of mountains. So today's video is a little bit of an update as to what's been going on what's coming up and what to expect from the channel. So I wanna firstly say, I apologize for the lack of content over the past however long. I guess the short and sweet excuse is to what I wanna use as to why there's been no videos or very or very few videos. I've just been focusing all my time and energy into, into my training. Uh, I got some big, big targets this year that I wanna achieve. Uh, and yeah, after the disappointment of last year, I don't wanna, I don't wanna be back in that position that I was in last year. Um, so yeah, I kind of just committed and wanted to to prove to myself and also be the best possible Athlete I can be this year and, and yeah tick off tick off a few goals and that is where I have been to be honest I've not gone anywhere. I've just been quietly grafting away I mean, I haven't really been that present on social media in general over the past few months or right, I've been posting here and there But I've kind of just taken a step back from it all and again just focusing my time my energy and my effort and my concentration 100% solely on being the best athlete I can be. First race of the year was last weekend. If you follow me on, on other platforms and social media on, on Strava, you will see that we won that race. So mate, it was uh, an absolutely perfect start to the season. I had a few messages asking, is, was there gonna be a video or a vlog from that date? And the reason is, that, well, the answer is no, but the reason is because I genuinely didn't think uh, we stood a chance in, in winning that race. For example, my last, my old team uh, had about 15 guys in the race. We had like five or four after a couple of laps. One of the lads, Matt, crashed out. So yeah, they had about five sprinters as well. It was a pan flat. Eddie Sowens is a pan flat race. So we just, yeah, I, I personally, I mean, it's the complete wrong attitude because I went in there thinking that we weren't going to win, um, which is what you should not do. So don't don't take that advice. Always have the mindset that you're going to win. But yeah, I just we did. I didn't expect to win. I didn't expect to to get a result really. So I just kind of wanted to get through that race and see see where we were at the start of the season. And somehow how I, I, I won. Uh, I've been working a fair bit this winter on my sprinting. I obviously come from a, a BMX race since like a sprint kind of based uh, background. But since I started road cycling more seriously, I sort of neglected the sprint side of things and I was working on everything else you need to be, you know, you need to do to be a good road cyclist. So whether that's my threshold, my climbing um, and, and yeah, my kind of general endurance. So this winter is the first winter in a long time that I've started to really kind of focus on my sprinting. I guess it paid off. We won the Eddie Sowens Memorial, uh, which I don't want to say it's not a classic, but it's like in the UK, it's like one of the main kind of early season races. So a quick little interruption with the video. Sadly, British Cycling still have not yet allowed the use of GoPros in their races. I really wish they would. I think these videos would be informative interesting, educational, and they would only help paint the racing in a good and positive light. So please, British Cycling, can you allow GoPros, allow onboard cameras in races? I literally can't think of a reason as to why you wouldn't allow them. You can use them in bigger races, in UCI races, so why not? Why not in our local races, right? So unfortunately, all I've got to talk about from the race last weekend is the power data and this quick video of the sprint finish here. <laughs> So for the last lap of the race or the final uh, 2.5 kilometers, in order to stay at the front of, of the lead out, I had to average 407 watts. And then as you can see from this screenshot for the actual sprint finish, uh, I peaked out at 1,316 watts. Uh, and also in terms of speed, it was 43 miles per hour or in kilometers, that's like 60, about 69 kilometers per hour. I thought it'd be good to give a little bit of data and provide some context as the, the numbers required to win that race. British Cycling, please let me use my GoPro in future races so I don't have to do this. Super happy, super stoked to win that race. It was a nice little confidence boost. Coming up now, I've got a race this weekend, uh, a Nat B in, in the north of England, not far from where I am right now actually, uh, hosted by uh, the guys, our friends over at Cold Dark North, if you're part of the UK or Northern cycling scene, you'll probably heard of those guys. They're organizing a race up north here this weekend. It's a pretty hilly circuit, one I've done a few times before, but then after that, we've got a little bit of a break, like three weeks, and then hopefully, fingers crossed, we're racing a UCI, a five-stage uh, UCI 2.2 event 
in France. So yeah, five stages. The selection for that team hasn't been made just yet, but fingers crossed we have a good race this weekend and we make the selection for that race. So that's kind of like the next big target. That's kind of it. That's where I've been. That's what's coming up. Uh, today we're just yeah tra training away. We had a long ride yesterday. I think it was just over 100 miles in total. So I got a little bit of fatigue in the legs. Got a couple of shorter days now, but more, more intense today. I've got two sets of seven efforts, which consist of 30 seconds at 700 watts into a one minute recovery period. Uh, and then, yeah, a little bit of a rest and then another set of seven. We've just done the first set and managed to hit the target watts for all but one, all but the last effort. It's not an easy session at all. I mean, these views and these roads do make it a little bit nicer, but I've been rambling on for long enough now. I'm gonna do like another 20 or 30 minutes and then we've got another set to do before we finish today's ride. Let's go. I used to lay out in the line just to fit a world spin on this axis. Now I got the access and the last lap got it off of the passion. I keep it a hundred on the dash. So that's the second and final set done. I just about managed to hit the target for the efforts in that one. It for sure took some doing and a hundred percent commitment. <laughs> And I feel very sick now, but we got it done. That's the main thing. Got five more minutes to do to complete the ride. So I'm just going to cruise home nice and gently and take this time as a bit of recovery. So I might be a little bit biased because I absolutely love uh, the Ribble brand and what they're kind of doing with their bikes at the minute. But I just think this new Ultra SLR looks so good, especially in the sunshine, especially now we've got these uh, white decal, the white Mavic decal on our new, our new race wheels and the fully integrated one piece bar system. There is absolutely zero cables on this bike. And I don't know about you guys, but a bike with no cables showing just gets a massive thumbs up from me. I've also decided to put some black bar tape on the bars. I, I did have some orange bar tape originally but it got dirty and just yeah didn't look very good at all also finally got the name sticker on the bike with the old lancashire red rose and as we saw in the race last weekend it's a very fast bike i think we've also the team has also won like three or four races since my race last week so yeah there's no doubt there's no questioning whether this bike is fast or not it is definitely fast. Jay, what did uh, what did someone DM you on Instagram last week about the vlogs? That I should take over because you're so useless, <laughs> essentially. No, they said they're missing the vlogs, and I think a lot of people are, but yeah. can I take them over if you're not going to? All right, we'll, we'll make some videos again. We'll bring the, we'll bring the videos back. Get my pop on, yeah, I get my pop on. If she needs some good, good, tell her she got hop on. She know I'm the top dog, I know she got hot one. But Lissy's on the feet, and you know I got the socks on. Yeah, I get my 